we spoke to a neighbor who said they saw a young girl being carried out of the house by a firefighter. Also a man in the driveway getting CPR and I'm going to step out of the way so you can see this is the home. Crews are just starting to kind of block everything off. I know that was a lot of information that we just gave you a lot of detours and road closures. Don't worry, we have all of that information for you on our website. And they tell me weapons of any kind are not allowed inside MGM Resorts International or their clubs there. They also said they do check bags and they want people to make sure that no weapons get in. I asked them if they want everyone that tries to get into the club and they didn't answer. A lot of training for officers but soon every officer's actions will be recorded. One of the students that I talked to, she told me she actually had bear when she was a freshman, but she transferred out of his class. She said one reason that she felt the need to leave was she would go into his classroom to talk to him, and she tells me he would close the door and dim the blinds. So coming up tonight at 10, if you use this area maybe to get to work or get home, we're going to tell you about detours that you are definitely going to want to take. Las Vegas police did also release a statement. However, they did not let media ask them any questions. And before I get to that, I'm sure you can see the ambulance here behind me. I'm told that someone that was in line waiting to get back into their room had some sort of a medical episode and fainted. And after court, we did meet up, catch up with Lindonna Thompson. That's Kadar Brown's mother. And she said the reason that she punched Gary Adair in the face was because he kept pushing back court dates. Now, I'm going to show you they are still up there right now spraying water on to this vacant building. I talked to the woman who actually called 911. Yesterday morning, a very brazen robber, he walked into this restaurant. It was full of people. He pulled out a gun and he demanded cash. The Metro police that are on scene here told me that the motorcycle rider was going so fast it hit a minivan way down over there. You can't even see how far away that crime scene is there. It then slid for a thousand feet and ended up over here. That motorcycle is still there right now. When we talked to Russell Davis, he said when he is elected that this coming fall will be the last football season ever in Clark County. What we can tell you is an 80 year old grandmother was shot in front of her home on on Henniker Way by her grandson, and her body is still out here right behind me, so we're not going to show you much of the crime scene. Christine, we're told a 65-year-old man was trying to cross Lake Mead Boulevard, just like I'm doing right now, cross all six lanes when he was hit and killed by a pickup truck. As you can see, still an active scene here. We were telling you how during these busy travel weekends, how prices for hotels and airfare, they can kind of tick up. So coming up tonight at 11, we're going to tell you how you can save some money. And on June 21st, police got a 911 call, and the caller said there was a woman that was unresponsive with blue lips lying in an RV. We now know that that woman is 25-year-old Tamara Killam. After today's lightning storms, 12 new fires were started. Crews would see smoke, go chase that smoke. We're told those crews right now are still battling those new blazes. And I actually just spoke to Metro Police and they told me that officers were in the area and they heard gunshots. So they went over to check it out and they approached an apartment. A man came out with his hands up and he said, I just shot my son.